Hey everyone, I'm Ben John, the rugby trainer, and today I'm joined with Justin Tipperick and Dan Lydia, Lions, Wales, and Ospreys legends. And we're going to look at the tackle area in over to tips, looking at speed off the deck and getting into that jackal position. So, if you can give us three tips on, first of all, what you do on the floor, you're thinking, and then finishing off with getting on your feet. Yeah, I think it starts first of all is understanding the laws of the game. I think that's what the biggest underestimated thing that people do. Um, not knowing what you can get away with and what you can't get away with and the laws are changing all the time so especially as a kid you've got to probably not ever talk rightly what's right or wrong to do in the game um, and obviously that's why New Zealand are so good at it they, they know the laws inside out and, and just listening to the ref as well and, and when you're in the game is just the understanding, understanding of that really um, and yeah basically then it's, it's just all about your work rate on the floor and just getting in the best positions afterwards and which is the Probably the technical point that we'll probably show a bit of after. So when you say work rate, as you hit the floor, what's your first thought? Yeah, your first thought, uh, thought is after obviously doing the tackling with lids, you've got to make sure you finish that tackle off. If you start overthinking about what you're going to do next, then you know, it's pointless really. You've got to make sure you get that good tackle in um, to make sure then the rest of it's easy. If you get that good tackle in, you can easily use your momentum to, to get back up on your feet and be in the best position. So when you are making a tackle, so say you've identified that Lidz is on his own, there's no one around yeah. him, you're just thinking purely on that tackle rather than thinking this guy's on his own? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I think it's more about making sure you get a good tackle in first and then uh, using your momentum then to get back into the right position afterwards. Because if you do a poor tackle, you're always going to find it hard. So if Lidz is running at me and I do a poor tackle, I'm not going to be able to try and get back on my feet um, two yards behind the gain line. And it's also given time for the support to get back to help him. But if I know I've put a good low shot in, like we've seen with Lids, I've got more time to bounce back up on my feet and beat the support men to the ball. Nice. Okay, sweet, man. Just going to go through a couple of demos. Do you want me to do them? Um, yeah, if you like. Um, so we're just talking. We, we go through a uh, few different things that probably happen in a game. Obviously, the, the best thing that we talk about, if you're high, you're always going to be hard to, to get back on your feet. So if you're making a tackle and you're really high on the pad there, then you, you usually find that you're going to get caught underneath the man and you're going to be hard to get, get, out, get out from it afterwards. Where if you make a good low shot like we spoke about with Dan earlier, you're going to drive your feet. If you end up there, you're in a perfect position because you're on top of the man and you've got loads of options. You can either bounce back, you're using the man to get back up to your feet. If you're on top of them, you're using the man to get back up. Whereas, like the last uh, picture I showed you, if he lands on you, you're in big trouble. So, as you're saying, this is a much better position than landing side on. Yes, oh, yeah, so. yeah, because think how much longer it's going to take for you to get that man off you before you get back onto your feet. Where you land on top, you're in a perfect position. And if you think where you land on him, your back is in that position ready to either fire through or show that clear release and get on the ball. So in this position, I'm popping up yeah. from here, what's your thought? Just remember, obviously, the laws again. You've got to make sure we show that clear release. Basically, on your way up, you, you want to try and make as less time as possible so that the ref's giving you the best um, best picture, basically, to show him that you're showing a clear release on your way and, and then you're straight on the ball. Then. And you're coming up. What, what are you doing with your eyes? What are you looking for? Yeah, you've got obviously your eyes on the ball um, and also you're trying to look slightly through the top of your eyebrows just to make sure what the support is doing and you know what what you can basically do with. Because if you, if I, as I'm coming up here, if I can see I've got plenty of time, I'm looking through the top of my eyebrows, I know I can get on the ball. Or if I know Lids is coming really close, I know I'm not going to be able to get on the ball and I'm going to have to fire through and let my teammates get on the ball. So it's all about seeing what's around them as well and making the right choice. So Tips is just going to take us through a drill that he does before and after a session just to stay on top of this skill. Yeah, no, just a little decision making drill because um, I think when you're at the breakdown there's so many things going on, it's just about trying to make the right decision. It's not always going to be the right decision but you have to try and get there as best as you can. Um, so if we start off just with you being in the perfect position, all we're going to do, um, I'll show either yellow or red, um, basically mixing up for, for when they are coming to see you, okay? Happy? Yeah. Yellow! Man, good time to get on the ball. Red! Perfect. Why, why do you go red then, then? Uh, just because there's no space. The thing that, that's just showing. Uh, now different ones then, where you maybe stuck under the tackle. See how you get this. Red. 
Yeah. And sometimes it might be uh, you're stuck in the tackle. You just got to get out there, just get into the defensive line. Just start making the right decision. It's not always going to affect the breakdown. Sometimes it's about making sure you don't get penalties away for your teammates and just getting back to fill that line so you can go get the next one. Nice. I like that just because you then you'll have 15 players on, the, on your feet Perfect. ready for that next line. Perfect. Sweet. Last one. Um, I'll do it again. I'll be there. Yellow! Oh. Uh, <laughs> Run away! Right, awesome drill there with tips and lids. So, guys, thanks for coming down and sharing your things that you've picked up over your career and what makes you such a good player as well. So, cheers for that. And all um, well, best for the rest of the season, lads. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers.